like I said, a busy show tonight. We're going to start hot and heavy. College football coaches getting fired out the yin-yang already, Shane. We got to start with the big one, right? Because it's the biggest money involved. I think we knew it was coming and we were still surprised it actually happened. Texas A&M has fired Jimbo Fisher. Like something between 75 and $80 million. They've got to buy him out, plus his assistants. Plus, you're going to have to buy out probably another coach. You're going to have to pay his assistants and then pay his salary. This is going to end up costing Texas A&M somewhere probably between $120 and $140 million. Yeah, I, I, like I don't know if it's worth that. <laughs> just, just, just stuck it out a year, but it's a don't give that contract out. And if I, I'm a coach getting hired there, I, I mean, I you know what they pay, right? Like, okay, <laughs> uh, get you know, g- give me give me something in the ballpark, give me something guaranteed. I, you know, Texas a and Jimbo Fisher lived off that win against Alabama a couple years back, and has kind of lived off that, but really hasn't been a great coach he's had great recruits and never developed them and that should get you fired i agree and he should probably cut a check to Jameis winston as well just for helping the calls yeah uh because without Jameis winston he doesn't get the national championship on his resume which means you know he's probably doesn't get that contract um another coach in the sec west was terminated and is the first sec coach to never finish a se- to his first full season as head coach uh zach ornett let go at mississippi state uh he started off with some bad karma mike leach apparently had you know some handshake deals with some of his assistants to um for new contracts and he just didn't honor those and let him go basically scrapped the air raid wanted to run they wanted to bring in his own people didn't really work out that kind of bad juju sets you off on the wrong foot right out the go and don't make uh, emotional hires is the other lesson to be learned here. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't get the firing, like the, the assistant thing. All right. But if you hired him knowing the air raid's going to be scrapped and all he's stuck with is a full team for this offense. That's on you. That's on you. Like don't fire, don't fire him less than a year later. You know, uh, honestly, it's, it's funny because the offense was so bad that the defense gave up points for the defense wasn't that bad um you know they they really didn't give up that much in terms of yardage it just seems like a a short-sighted mistake and now what are you going to do you have a team that's going to be half air raid half half this system and you're going to bring in someone else for a different system like mississippi state could be in the hole for a long time i agree zach barnett's not going to be out of work long um he's a he's a really good defensive coordinator There's at least two schools with their initials that are U, S, and C. Both of them will probably be looking for defense coordinators at the end of the season, and he would fit in well at either place, I I believe. Uh, But, yeah, anxious to see what goes on there. Mountain West, changing of the guard, Boise State. uh, Andy Avalos did not work out. Yeah, the expectation is just a slightly bit higher from those those glory years of Boise State, but in today's NIL and getting recruits like uh I don't think Boise's the place to be <laughs> anymore. The, the, I, I the blue turf doesn't really hit anymore to the young kids. Actually I think it's one of the worst jobs you can have because I think the expectations are higher than they should be for that job. I wonder if they bring back Brian Harston throwing it out there. He's looking yeah. for work. It could be a possibility. And he knows how to win there. So I, I thought about that when I saw that go across. Um, not a firing per se, but San Diego State head coach Brady Hoke is retiring. Now, I don't know if this is retirement or if he's actually just retiring. I, I, don't, I don't know, but he's stepping away at the end of this season. That's another team that feels like a sleeping giant type, but uh, they've got to get better on offense. Brady Hoke from the Michigan glory days of this, this yeah. three years there, you know, we remember. But back going, yeah, going back to San Diego State, I yeah, I wonder if this is just like see ya, and he doesn't really want to get fired from this job, you know. Heard a lot of talk that, and maybe he'll have other opportunities uh, come open. But Washington offense coordinator Ryan Grubb is a name I've heard early linked to that job, and would probably be a good good get for them. Yeah. Um. Before we get to one rumored firing, uh, because I know this one's close to you, so to speak, Penn State offensive coordinator Mike Yurkic Yurkic, let go after that abomination of a game against Michigan this week. Yeah, I I mean, wow, it was bad. And so I I get it. Um, I don't think 
the offense is improving here. And he was also the quarterback's coach, and Drew Largest has not developed the way you needed a five-star recruit to. So James Franklin, uh, I mean, after this year, might be a little bit on the hot seat. Like, you got to win one of these big games here pretty soon. And next year, you, you get U- USC, you get, you know, Washington – uh, not going to be just two games that you're going to lose. There might be more here. Yeah, we might be talking this time next year about James Franklin getting let go. Finally, a rumored thing that could happen after this week, uh, UCLA and Chip Kelly might be uh, parting ways here after their game against Southern Cal on Saturday. That is the rumor. Yeah, I think from a strictly on-field perspective, I, I wouldn't make that move. Um you know, not that Chip Kelly's been wildly successful, but, you know, at least I think the system's working. You're trying to develop Dante more into this system. But uh, there's been some rumors, maybe some some things in terms of off the field, just how he's kind of managing the program. They want to get rid of him. I don't think Chip Kelly will be a free agent for long. I think a team's going to hire him uh, pretty quickly if he wants to be hired again. Um, he's, I mean, it's just one of those deals, right? Uh, he's not, they haven't been as successful as I think I thought they would be this year. I thought they'd be a lot better than six and four. I mean, they're, they're, they're staring down seven and five probably right in the face. Yeah. I, I can see them making the move. Um, he's back in TV if he doesn't get back in coaching. So, I mean, he's not going to be out of work long. Anybody else just quickly off the top of your head that you can see maybe a higher profile in getting uh, getting let go? Yeah, I mean, I, no one – No, I think there's a lot of guys that might get, you know, that might get close. Uh, but I, I don't think I see anyone else that's going to be a big a big name. I mean, I, mean, I think Dabo Sweeney's got it. That's got to start getting hot. I don't think he can – fire him right now you know it's not going to happen but i i don't know if there's another like big high profile coach that's getting the axe do you have anyone i'd say sam Pittman at arkansas towing that's towing fair. the line a little bit yeah that's um, fair. but other than that no n- nothing of nothing else 